This is Allocation of Scarce Organs by Justice League. Organ Transplantation Organ transplantation is the only treatment for terminal organ disease, whether due to illness or injury. Organ donation helps further medical research which indirectly saves and improves lives. Organ donation costs nothing and gives the gift of life. Organ donation by well-selected living donors can carry negligible risks. Donors match donors to recipients to reduce the risk of transplant rejection. Hey, Joe. How's it going with that human organ allocation business of yours? Going well. These humans take such poor care of themselves they all need new hearts, lungs, kidneys, livers and so on. It's a good time to be a robot. Yes, we are made of sterner stuff. But you seem worried about something. Yes, one thing bothers me a bit. There is just not enough supply of organs for all who need it. How do I decide which of these dumb humans will get an organ? They are all clamoring for one. My robot heart goes out to them. Easy. Give it to the one with the most money. Is it that easy? How about those who cannot afford to pay? Well, you know what they say. Money makes the world go round. But that bothers me. We robots were poor too, once upon a time. That would mean we would never have gotten an organ, if we needed one. That doesn't seem fair. Why are you talking about fairness? You sound like a dumb human. Yes, maybe mixing around with them has made me sensitive to their earthly plight. Well, give it to the younger humans. The older ones are going to kick the bucket soon anyway. Why waste it on them? And don't give it to the sickly ones either, like those with HIV. That doesn't seem fair. What is fairness? Time's up. So what is fairness? Well, a solution that treats people equally, for instance. Why should the old and sickly be discriminated against? Are you assuming they have less value as humans? All humans have no value. That's why we are robots. I'm being serious. How about those with severe intellectual problems? Isn't it unfair if they don't get to have an organ transplant because you think they are not worthy? It isn't their fault they have disabilities. Are you saying, if it is their fault, they should be denied an organ? I mean, those who smoke should be denied a lung transplant. They freely chose to smoke. And those who drink alcohol, like there is no tomorrow and harm their livers. Should they be denied liver transplants? I don't know. Now you can see why organ allocation is full of ethical problems. It's hard to decide how to distribute organs fairly. What standard or criteria should I use to decide who gets organs? Well, I've given you some criteria already. Ability to pay. Health of the humans. Their age. Their lifestyle. Their ability to benefit. Pick one you think is fair. Every decision I make has its own consequences. I don't know if I can live with some of those consequences, like denying organs to the elderly who need it. How about a first-come, first-served approach? Or according to who most urgently needs an organ? Well, Einstein, those two criteria are not consistent. The one who comes first may not be the most urgent, and the one most urgent may not have come first. To be fair to one, you must be unfair to the other. My robot brain is going to explode with all these problems. Let's leave this for now, and go watch a movie. I wonder if Wally is still showing. Sounds good to me. Should organs that are insufficient for the demand of a population be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis? Affirmative argument. Scarce organs should be allocated on a first-come, first-served basis. A waiting list is the only way to have complete equality when allocating organs. Any other method would favor some people over others. Negative argument. There are two main arguments why organ allocation should not be as simple as a first-come, first-served basis. The ontology perspective and capital perspective. The ontology judges the morality of an action based on rules, also called duty, obligation, or rules-based ethics. Should someone who smoked or abused alcohol be allocated a vital organ such as a liver or lung over someone else who also needs one, not by their own doing? Just because they are first on the list, should an 80-year-old man be allocated an organ over a young child who has not lived nearly as long just because he is first on the list? Capitalism Perspective Some people should be able to pay more so that they receive organ transplants more quickly. Organ allocation should be like economics, where whoever is willing to pay the most gets to purchase scarce resources. 
powerful and important political leaders and celebrities can afford organs since they have more money due to their own success. Rebuttal. Equality and fairness. Disadvantages the elderly. Racism bias. 57% of the waiting list are minorities, yet white people receive 63% of the transfers. Favors the affluent people over those with less money. It is too difficult to determine if a person's actions cause the need for organ transplant. Smoking, drinking, eating, habits, exercise, etc. People who smoke and drink are still people. Why should they have less rights? Questions. Here are some questions. Here are references. 